what's going on all my beautiful people youtube facebook instagram it's your boy stas on silly we're back with another bang 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 banging episode of silly strategics and on today's episode i'm gonna be doing an unboxing and a review of the b5 systems sop mod bravo that is today's episode Getting right into it, man. The B5 system sought my Bravo, man. I got it on black. It's going to be on my 300 blackout rifle. I wanted to put a stock on there that's going to be reliable and sturdy. The B5 systems. I think I was issued a B5 one time. I believe I was in Bliss. I can't remember. Was that Bliss or was I in Germany? I can't remember, man. But I was issued a B5 before a SOP mod. I believe it was the, the, the I guess, the first version of the SOP mod. This is the version 2, the Bravo version. And this one is a little bit more slim. It's not as thick as the original B5, but um, it's a it's a hell of a good stock, man. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do a quick unboxing. This is what it literally. This is the package that it comes with. This is the packaging. Nothing special. Just a clear plastic. Shows you your different color options, man. You have all you have a bunch of different color options right here, and um, it's real simple, man. You're just gonna open it up, take it out. <laughs> And we can just get this out the way. It's super lightweight. Um, this this reminds me a lot of the um the Magpul, the Magpul stocks that they have. The difference between the Magpul and the the B5 is that it's filled in right here. You see, all this is filled in. For I, I remember uh, most of the M4 stocks that you see issued in the military, it has this part is opened up, and you literally just have the the stock here and of course the the butt pad or whatever with the adjustment level and you usually had this part opened up so the fact that this is filled in it's super it makes it super solid and super sturdy especially when you attach it to your rifle so right off the top uh it's a good looking stock like i said i've always liked the b5 system stock uh, especially the minimalist version of them like this one um so the original sop mod or the original sop mod um uh, B5 stocks they had the, 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 the pad was a little bit the cheek well was a little bit more fatter it was a little bit more wider and they also have the storage compartments for like batteries and I guess batteries because I don't know what else you can put in there I mean some people say you can put extra ammo in there but I'm not going to put five or six extra ammo in my stock man and to have it rattling around and you know make it super loud so I will definitely keep it empty that's why I went with the, the Bravo version the part 2 version of the SOP mod B5 because because I don't need that storage compartment because I'm not I'm not gonna be putting batteries in my stock man I mean it's a good idea but it's just it's just not I'm just not gonna use it so I don't need it so that's why I went with this one I wanted it to be a little bit more slimmer than the original I didn't want it to be super fat and super wide so that's why I went with the, the Bravo version of the SOP mod B5 systems man all right so we're gonna go ahead and jump into uh, into specs man like I said man. I ain't no technical spec guy. I'm not going to sit here and memorize all this stuff just so I can look cool for, for, for the cameras and stuff, man. Hey, it is what it is, man. Just understand, I'm not that guy, all right? I'm not that guy. All right, so the stop my B5, man. They made it a little bit more lighter, compact, with a stronger butt stop. And still have the, the good solid cheek well, maintain the cheek well. It has a one-piece anti-rotation quick disconnect sling mount, which is right here anti-rotation you see has those little indents in there to keep it from rotating because i mean sometimes when you're swimming in and out of your slings it's kind of annoying if the swivel mount is freaking moving and stuff and it just makes it a little bit harder so the fact that i have anti-swivel that's pretty cool that's a plus unless you shoot a lot unless you train a lot you're really not going to notice a difference or care for that difference but if you if you maneuver a lot you do a lot of tactical training you know what i mean when you come in and out of your sling and the sling point is moving and that, that's kind of annoying so that's a cool little touch like I said, most people might not notice it, but all my real shooters out there, you know what's up. It has an improved sure grip latch. The grip, as you can see, it has some indentations. It makes it easier to grip. So you can adjust your stock. It makes it easier to grip, which you can, you know, it, you, you feel that grip and it feels, it feels, 
it feels like it's, it's gonna work it's gonna help adjust that stock weekly and um one thing i wanted to tell you guys is that um this little butt pad right here it's like a rubber and the way how it is it's super grippy to your clothes i don't know if you guys can see that see that so when you when you put this into your shoulder it's it's not going anywhere it's not going to slip it's not going to be moving it's like super grippy you see how it grips to the clothes so this rubber i always like that rubber on the b5 systems because it's super grippy even if you're wearing kit it's going to stick to your kit it's not going to be sliding up and down so that's a cool little feature all right let's read off these specs man let's read off these specs because i know you spec boys i know you spec boys want all the specs all right ergonomic cheek wheel color match hardware blah 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 Fixed sling mount, inter internal tensioners, no slip cushion butt pad, I already mentioned that. It's a secure grip, I already mentioned that. Fits mil spec carbon, okay, sorry, so the weight, the weight of this is 9.30 ounces, man, 9.3, 9.30 ounces, man, so that's the weight of it. The length of it is 7.2, it's 7.2 inches long. The, the width of it is 2 inches in thickness, it's 2 inches wide, as you can see, it's kind of a wide stop. And the height is 4.9 inches, man. So now that we got that out of the way, <laughs> so now that we got that out of the way, now let's let let's talk about this man. What is SOP mod? A lot of people want to know what SOP mod is. S O P M O D man. Special operations per percular modification kit. <laughs> Special operations percular modification kit man. So that's what SOP mod means. And what basically what that means, what that is, is just basically a list of authorized accessories that soldiers have that can put uh, get assigned to their weapons you know what i'm saying so you can get assigned you know a butt stock you can get assigned a sling you can get assigned a rail the you know the optics iron sights all that it's basically the list that the list of approved accessories that a soldier can get put onto his his assigned weapon so that's basically what the stop mod is it's just it's just a fancy abbreviation all right i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna throw this on i'm gonna throw this on and it's real simple you just slide it on there and when you reach that when you reach that resistance oh man when you reach that resistance you just pull this down and then you slide it on and it's on there and it's locked into place man so here it is on the rifle like i said i got it on my 300 blackout there it is looks pretty cool it looks pretty cool man it looks pretty nice on there it's a real good look and there you have it man so you guys can see it looks like from the top from the side from the bottom man from the back and there it is man the b5 salt mod bravo man all right so let's talk about the b5 let's talk about this this stock man um so i like it like i said it's pretty lightweight it's not that heavy it's not gonna it's not gonna increase the weight of your rifle it's gonna I mean it's gonna add a little bit of weight but it's not much it's a real good look it looks pretty sleek i have it on my folding adapter so there it is right here so yeah man see so, yeah, I have my foregrip on here I got the Daniel Defense foregrip Daniel Defense grip and the B5 system stock man but um it's a real good looking stock it's real nice um I like I said I've used these I was issued a similar one it wasn't this exact one but it was similar to this this uh, B5 systems Sop mod Bravo um they're real good man i mean it's it's it, it's a stock man it's not really much to talk about it's not really much to say other than it gets it sits into your shoulder pocket pretty nice man it sits in your shoulder pocket pretty nice it doesn't it's not it's not a lot of movement going on it's in there you know you know so i mean it does it does what a stock's supposed to do which is give you a good press against your 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 in in your shoulder groove or whatever so you can secure the rifle so you can control it and you can control that recoil like i said this rubber helps absorb that recoil whenever you shoot man if you haven't shot a b5 if you haven't shot a b5 systems stock yet when you shoot it man this rubber pad this thick rubber pad right here man that's that's heaven sent it just absorbed i know 556 five, doesn't have the biggest recoil you know compared to some other rifles but i mean for the little bit of recoil that the 556 five, does have this b5 system stock man it just eats it up man it eats it up like nobody's business man uh, it's real good like i said it fits real good feels real good feels real natural bring it up and feels super natural it feels good in the shoulder it's comfortable like i said it's lightweight it looks good it looks sleek um and it just it just 
it's, it's just a good accessory to have on your rifle especially if you want to be comfortable while you're shooting if you want to be comfortable and you want to be more accurate you know in order to be more accurate you have to be somewhat comfortable and when you're comfortable you shoot more you practice more and you just become a better shooter because you're super comfortable and the b5 system is, is a comfortable stock so if you're throwing it on a rifle if you're throwing it on an sbr that you have on there you know what i'm saying abolish the atf we don't need you know what i'm saying tax stamps is the biggest rip rip off we need to abolish the nfa we need to abolish the nfa man the nfa is just outdated and stupid but anyways we're not going to go into that but i just want to show you guys a comparison to a pistol brace you know as we know we're, we're waiting for the the atf we're waiting for the fed boys on their pistol brace you know fiasco that they got going on right here man so here it is let me go ahead and take this off so i can compare it give you guys a good comparison to uh a pistol brace all right now you want to act up here you go all right so i'm going to go ahead and put this off to the side right here mr 300 all right so how does it compare how does it stack up to a pistol brace so it's almost it seems like it's made out of the same material the b5 systems plastic does seem to be a little bit more darker and it seems to be a little bit more it has that more solid feel than like the pistol brace plastic it's a the pistol brace the pistol brace plastic is super lightweight and but it feels it feels like super it feels like cheaper a little bit i mean not i mean i don't want to talk trash about you know what i'm saying i don't want to talk to trash about the sb pistol brace man i really don't but just uh the, just uh the look at the plastic the plastic just seems like a little bit it seems like a more high quality plastic on the b5 systems man one of my lights just turned off right there man. i don't know if you guys saw that but the the um the plastic seems a little bit more high quality on the b5 systems i mean you can kind of i don't know if you guys will pick it up but it just has that more pronounced detail better looking plastic look the height wise the b5 systems is a little bit longer uh they're about the same width and the pistol brace they're almost the same weight i think the b5 might be a little bit wider mm, maybe yeah it's like a little bit wider not by much but just a little bit man and um yep yeah, so that's a comparison man for for those of you who don't know right so real quick for those of you who don't know this is considered well when you buy it originally from the store this is considered an AR pistol I would have to remove the foregrip and I would have to put a pistol brace on here in order for me to shoot this rifle legally you know what I'm saying so this would be this is a pistol brace so if I put this pistol brace on here and I say this is a pistol I would have to remove this foregrip because according to the ATM this foregrip makes this pistol more dangerous for some reason so because it's not a pistol and it's an actual SBR <laughs> I can put this stock on here now ask me what the difference is and how this weapon shoot and how this weapon function with the stock compared to the, the, the pistol brace it shoots the exact same there's absolutely zero difference in how this weapon functions and how this weapon shoots. There's absolutely zero difference that this stock, this pistol brace, or this stock makes to this rifle. But according to the ATF, it's it, it, it's a big deal. So if I, in order, so in order for me to make this a SBR, this have to be registered. This have to be registered. This is registered as a SBR because for one, I have the foregrip. For two, I have a stock on there. So this is a, this is a SBR, right? Because the ATF says that me adding this foregrip to it is gonna. If I had this stock on here and I put this foregrip, it's a it's a SBR or a, or other weapon, other weapon, other NFA item weapon. You know what I'm saying? It makes zero sense. But I SBR it. I went ahead and SBR it. Um, I have the foregrip and as you can see you got the stock on there so it's 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 a sbr now it was registered anyways because of the suppressor so it really didn't matter might as well you know what i'm saying because it's already suppressors already registered so um but anyways um yeah this is the foolishness that we got to deal with man atf when they're silly 
their silly, silly rules. Because, like I said, ATF don't make laws. But, um, anyways, man. All right, let's get back to this. So, B5 also sent me some stickers. I need to get, I need to start, I need to put on some stickers, man. I need to put all the company's stickers that I get. I need to find, assign a wall somehow to put the stickers on there. So, this is one of the stickers, man. B5 Systems. It says strength in numbers. This is pretty cool. This look like, uh... Like some type of like Aztec warrior, I guess, or the AR. <laughs> looks pretty cool. Hopefully you guys can see it. It's like it's like an Aztec. It looks like an Aztec with an AR-15. Um, this one, this B5 st sticker, the B5 spade sticker. That's pretty dope. This reminds me of um the Geisley, the logo. Uh, another B5, the red and black one. And then another B5, Strength and Numbers. So, that's pretty cool that they sent me some stickers, man. Um, if you own a business out there, man, and you got products and you're selling products, man, you guys all understand, man. These stickers and Velcro, Velcro patches means a lot to some of us, man. Some people might not give a shit about, you know, getting stickers with their order. But to me, it's just it's just a kind gesture, you know, just a you know token of appreciation of us, you know, buying our product and... If you got stickers, you got cool stickers, man. Throw it in, throw it in with with your products, man. Don't be don't be stingy, man. But anyways, man, that's about it. And like I said, it's not much to really talk about. It's a stock, you know what I'm saying? It does what stocks do. It you know brings the rifles into your shoulder, make it super comfortable for when you shoot, man. Like I said, this B5, this thick rubber right here, it absorbs that recoil, man. Your shoulders, your shoulders are gonna thank you if you get a B5 Systems, man, because this rubber that it has an end. It just eats up that recoil, man. Five, 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 six. Don't have a lot of uh, recoil. Actually, this is a 300 blackout. 300 blackout got a little bit of kick. 300 blackout do got a little bit of kick. So earlier I said five, five, six, but I forgot that this is on my 300 blackout, man. But um, the 300 blackout got a little bit of kick to it. It's not not that crazy of a kick to it, but this B5 systems definitely will help observe that recoil from the 300 blackout man so if you got a 300 blackout and you sbr it or it's a in rifle form and you got a stock on it man get your b5 systems man i love the b5 bravo if you want that if you want a fatter if you want it fatter you want it thicker and you want that storage compartment then you want to have the original b5 sop mob man this is the bravo like i said the bravo is the one without the bravo is the one without the storage compartment built in man if you want the storage compartment then you have to get the regular b5 sop mob man but this is the sop mob bravo okay so don't get it twisted don't order the wrong one and say hey i thought i wanted the one with the storage compartment you ordered the wrong one man if you want the storage compartment you have to have the b5 systems the b5 system sop mod version one or part one whatever they want to call it this is the bravo so that i guess that would be the alpha if this is the Bravo. I mean, I don't know, man. But anyways, man. <laughs> thank you guys for tuning in, man. Thank you guys for supporting. Thank you guys for liking. Thank you guys for showing your love and your support, man. I appreciate every single one of you guys who tune in every Sunday or Monday or whenever the hell you tune in. Whenever you get a chance. Whenever you remember. Whenever you get the notification, man. And you guys tune in. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I want to thank you. And I want to make sure. I want to tell you guys to make sure. Make sure. You turn on the notification bell, man, because YouTube be, you know, YouTube be trying to, you know, they be trying to suppress gun content, man. And you guys, the way how you guys can help out the channel, if you guys really want to help us out, man, it costs zero dollars to help the channel out, man. All you have to do is like, like the video, man, like the video and comment every once in a while, man. You got to comment every time. Just drop a like, drop a comment, share it on social media, share it on Facebook, share it on Instagram, share it wherever you want to share it, man. That's how you help the channel. And... You're not helping, you're not, don't look at it like you're helping me out. Like, oh, you're trying to help me out. If you're, if you're into guns and you're into advocating for your Second Amendment rights, you want to support every type of gun channel you see. Whether it's my channel, the next guy's channel, that guy's channel, it doesn't matter. If they're advocating 2, 2A and they're advocating gun safety and training, like those people's stuff, man. Like the videos, man. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment. Because that's going to push the YouTube algorithm to push the videos out there so more and more people can see the content. The more people see the gun content, the more people would start to learn and get interest in guns, the stronger our Second Amendment, our Second Amendment fight is going to be, man. So don't look at it like you're helping me out, man. You're, look, you're helping out the Constitution, man. You're helping out the whole entire two-way community by liking, by commenting. 
by sharing, subscribing, and make sure you guys turn on your bell notifications so you guys get notified every time we drop another bang, 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 bang in video, man. It's your boy, Stats on Sealy. That's all for today, man. That's all I got for you guys, man. One more thing. I just need you guys to make sure you stay ready so you don't have to get ready. We live to train because we train to live. Remember, you are, you are your own first responder. Staff Sergeant Sealy is out.